I am Carmelia Ray. I am the matchmaker on the TV show Mom vs. Matchmaker, a 25 year veteran in the dating space, online dating expert, and this year voted best dating coach of 2018. Today we actually wanted to talk about a little bit more serious of a topic. If you are a teenager and you have had a very devastating breakup and if you are having thoughts of suicide or harming yourself. I think this is such an important topic, Olivia, and I know uh, firsthand when I, and something I haven't, sh I've shared this publicly, but I'll share a little bit of my story. When I was uh, 17 years old, I ran away from home. I fell in love with a boy at 18. He cheated on me. I was devastated. I not only had suicidal thoughts, I actually uh, attempted suicide at 19. I was hospitalized and I, I, I wouldn't be around here today and have three children of my own and a successful career in business had that happened at 19. I recall feeling so just desperate, lonely, betrayed, afraid. I didn't ask for help. And that's one of the things that I would advise and share with my 19 year old self is to not, you know, bottle up all of these emotions. I really put a ton of value in what this person thought of me. Mm. I was much more concerned with being with this person that my concerns were non-existent. It mm. didn't matter what I thought. Like if you were my boyfriend, I was all, or girlfriend, I was really just all about what you wanted, what you needed, and wasn't taking care of myself. And in fact, it was actually a very unhealthy and toxic relationship, but I, and I kept going back to that relationship because I just was out to prove that, oh, I'm gonna make this person like me. I am somebody that, really attached and made myself think, oh, if he doesn't love me, nobody loves me. If he could do this to me, then everybody could do this to me. And this is uh, the belief system that I created and none of that was true. Right. I really had placed this, this boy at the time at this really high pedestal because I was, I was very insecure. I was not in a comfortable space. I was out on my own. I was alone and scared. Here comes my Prince Charming and then Prince Charming could do no wrong. I was really wearing rose-colored glasses. Physiologically, when you are in lust and you feel like you're in love, your brain is actually playing tricks on you. Oxytocin. You, yes, <laughs> you are so full of oxytocin and yeah. damn it is it ever like controlling yeah. your, your mind. So it's almost like an intoxication. Yeah, oxytocin is a hormone, it's synonym. It's a drug. It would make a lot of sense if you're feeling that way during this high. Which by the way, love is addictive. And all of a sudden that feeling goes away. I'm doing everything in my power to get that hit. Yeah. That hit of love from this person. So what do I gotta do to get him to notice me? What do I gotta do to get him to like me or her to like me? And so you're really fighting for the attention of a person that not doesn't deserve it, but everything that I need to feel loved and wanted and secured is like all right here. I have some friends who are very unhappy with themselves and they're open about it. You know, I don't like this about my body. I don't like this about this part of my life, my job, whatever it is. So now they're dating somebody else and they're still very unhappy with themselves, but they have this expectation of their partner to give them or feed that happiness to them. And nobody can do that for you. You no. can't get fed your own happiness. If you're not happy yourself, your relationship will suffer because of that. You don't need acknowledgement from your partner. You don't need anything from anybody other than you. You know, you're feeling this sense of loss and and overwhelm and just an uncontrollable, unmanageable grief. Just know that it, it's temporary. Yeah. Like it is really temporary. And today, right now, this minute watching this video, if you need support, we're gonna uh, provide all the links for you to speak to someone about it and don't internalize. This is not a permanent situation. And I know it feels like that at the time and you're, you're convinced of it because your brain is telling you that and your emotion is telling you that, but those are the thoughts in your head. So we really want to let you know that you're absolutely not alone in that scenario. If you also are, are watching this and you suspect that you might have a friend, 
family member um, that is going through or dealing with an emotional loss and contemplating suicide, it's also important that you engage and be a stand for that person and help them with those resources or direct them to this video so that they can get the support and know that they're not alone. Think about all the, the people who love you and what the impact would be without having you here. And don't say, nobody would care, nobody would know. I 1000% guarantee to you that there would be an impact. Yeah. And a big hole and void that wasn't there. Do what you need to get the help and we're here to support uh, you. Thank you yeah. so much for watching. And please check out the do's and don'ts video. Right here, familiar. Oh, wait, wait to it. Right <laughs> <laughs> He's not me hit that.